Hello, we're going to be talking about the perimeter today as well as the circumference, but we will start with the perimeter. The perimeter applies to shapes with straight lines, the circumference with curved lines. Okay, so the perimeter is basically the border. Okay, so this line here, this black line, it goes all the way across, all the way over. This black line here, it's kind of like a fence. That is the perimeter. Okay, and the way we measure it is that we basically, we add one side, we add another side, we add the other side, and then the last side. Okay, so we're adding all of those things together. All right. So, it's the distance around a two-dimensional figure, like a fence or a border. And once again, it applies to all shapes that don't have circles or curves. All right, so let's just practice. Now, here is a square. We know that with a square, all sides are equal with a square. Okay, and it's a little bit blurry, but I'll write it here. This is 11 yards. Okay, so with a square, we know that all sides are equal. So we have 11. The other side must be 11 as well. And then the other two sides are also 11. And so there's two ways to do it. 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11 or we can just simply say 11 times 4 all right and that equals 44 pretty simple right let's try another one this is a rectangle okay, two sides of the rectangle are equal so 12 is the side on the left which means this side will be 12. Six yards down at the bottom, you'll have six at the top. So we just add them all together. 12 plus six plus 12 plus six. Okay, that is going to equal 36, sorry about that, 36, that's better. Okay, and that's all you do. Here is a triangle. Okay, what would we do here? We would add 12 plus 17 plus 17. So 12 plus 17 plus 17 equals 46. All right, you're getting the idea? All we're doing is adding the sides. Okay, we have 10. We have 10 one time. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, these are all equal lengths. All right, so instead of adding 10 seven times you can just go seven or ten times seven your perimeter would be 70 inches okay one more here's a figure this figure has a missing side so we have 15 on one side so 15 plus 14 Okay, we're, we're going to add these up, right? 15 plus 14 plus 5 plus 8 plus 10. And we have a little bit of a missing one. What could this be down here? So we have 14 up top. So let's look up top here. We have 14 that goes across there. That means we're going to have 14 
that goes to about right there, right? Okay, we have we know that eight yards goes to about this area, right to this point. Okay, so if the total is 14, then what we are looking at is 8 plus what equals 14? That would be 6, right? So that missing piece, we add a plus 6 here, all right, and that will equal a total of 58 and you want to write yards. All right, let's move on to circles. If you have any questions, you can always pause the video. You can refer to it at any time while you're working on your assignment. Okay, now we're going to talk about circles, shapes with curves. All right, so we have a circle here. And we can see this red borderline here. That is the circumference. It is the same thing as the perimeter. But with circles, they call it circumference. The diameter, this green line, that green line represents what's called the diameter. Okay? And the diameter is what we will need to begin to calculate the circumference of a circle. All right, so if we know the measurement of a diameter, we're going to work with what's called pi. All right, so pi. And pi is 3.1 one four sorry about my marker there so that is pi and all you're doing is multiplying the diameter times pi okay that's all it is now with a circle and a line that goes halfway across that is called the radius. All right, so those are the two terms for circles that you need to know. Diameter is a line that goes all the way across, or the measurement that goes all the way across. The radius is the measurement that goes halfway across. Okay, if you look up here, this is the formula right there. Now, to find the circumference, we take the diameter, multiply it times pi. If we know the radius, we multiply it times pi, and then we also multiply it times two. Okay, let's look at a couple. Okay, in this first one here, we know that the diameter is eight feet. All right, so we have eight that goes all the way across. What do we do? Eight times pi, 3.14, that equals 25.12. All right, and you can do that on your calculator. All right, now the next one. It gives us a diameter of 22. All right, so 22 times pi equals 69.8. Okay, do you get the idea? Okay, and the next one, 10 times pi. In the next one, 6 times pi. All right, and remember, pi is 3.14. All right, 
if we just had the radius, we're just going to do one extra step. Here is the radius. Our radius is 5 centimeters. So what do we do? 5 times pi, 3.14 times 2. All right, and that equals 31.4. Okay, do you get the idea? All right, be sure to pause the video if you have any questions, refer to it.